what's sort of an alternative view to the empty tomb? Would it be something like the wrong tomb, a mass or a mass grave uh, uh, approach? Yeah, you know, they just the main one. I mean, the old, uh, old, long ago, it was you know the disciples stole the body, right? We find that in the Gospel of Matthew. And Matthew, whenever you think it was written, whether early or late, Matthew is telling his readers who would have known whether he's telling the truth. He's telling them that the Jewish leadership continues to spread this rumor to this very day. So we know that sometime in the first century that the Jewish leadership was saying the disciples stole the body, which I think is interesting because why would you say the disciples stole the body if the if the if it was still there, right? Um, yeah, you wouldn't. Now, of course. They could have spread this later on after the Gospels were written. And if, you know, we know up till the time of the year 70, uh, you had those burial boxes called ossuaries that many Jews were using that they'd put the bones in after the corpse um, um, decomposed for a year. Then they they reburied the bones. So, you know, maybe the the fact that it, uh, they're saying the disciples stole the body. They they couldn't prove it otherwise, one way or the other, if they had buried Jesus' bones in an ossuary somewhere. Um, you've got Tertullian who mentions toward the end of the second century that uh, the gardener had a lettuce patch by the tomb, and uh, it was going. The, the rumor was that the gardener reburied the body because he was afraid that visitors coming out to pay homage to Jesus in, at his tomb would trample over his lettuce. But that being spread around still gives an alternate explanation to why the tomb was empty. It's, it's not disputing the empty tomb. You have Celsus in the middle of the second century who is saying that... Um, uh, Jesus uh, used magic to fake his death on the cross. He went unconscious and then he was revived in the tomb and came out and, you know, but again, that is not to dispute an empty tomb. It's just to give an alternate explanation for it. Justin Martyr in the middle of the second century said that the Jewish leadership was still claiming in that day. He says this in his dialogue with Trifo that um, they were still saying spreading the rumor that the disciples had stolen the body. Still, the only kind of explanations, alternative explanations to the empty tomb is to explain how the tomb came to become empty. They're not disputing whether the tomb was empty. And I think that is, it's pretty telling.